couple of years ago, I made a video about the cost of living in Albania. And if you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here in the corner. One of the main things that people mentioned was that it was more about what individual things cost and not so much about how much I spend every month. So today is the first of the month and I've spent nothing so far and I will be tracking my expenses throughout the whole month so that I can report back to you at the end of the month of how much I spent in this month. Before I go any further, I have to mention that this is a smaller town in Albania and so while some of the prices may be similar than other places, you have to keep that in mind as you're looking around. Some of the things here are going to be cheaper than elsewhere if you're in a bigger city like Tirana or one of those. So this is what I typically spend living alone in Pogredets. For my current apartment, I spend 15,000 lek per month on rent. It's an upgrade from my previous place and the place that was in the last video, which is why it's a significant price increase. However, some of the time I have someone living with me and so we split it, so it's only 7,500 a month, but because this month I'm alone, 15,000. And let's show you what I get for 15,000. Living room one. Bathroom number one. Bathroom number two. Bathroom number three. Office slash my roommate's room when he's here. My bedroom. Living room slash kitchen. I also have this cool little balcony with a view over the bus station. So I just paid my water bill for the month. It was 1,306 leg. It's about average um, for what, what I usually get. It's about normal. It changes month to month, but that's about normal. <laughs> Electricity bill down. That was uh, 4,754 left. Winter months are a little bit higher because I'm in the house more, it gets darker earlier, lights, whatever. And I have a electric heater that I use, a little space heater that I use sometimes. So. Speaking of heat, this is the only room in the house with a heat source other than the space heater I keep in my room. So during most of the winter, I stay in this room. I typically start a fire only after the sun's gone down and it actually gets really cold and that way I can save on wood a bit. This year I bought three cubic meters of wood, which was 15,000 lek. And uh, it's lasted me about four months so far, so. But again, I'm very, very conservative with my, with my wood use. Wow, the gym is not a completely necessary expense. It's something that I like to do as frequently as I can. This will cost 100 like per session, and uh, I don't know every single day, so probably about 2,500 black per month. I buy my food at a variety of local shops, stores, stands, restaurants, whatever. Um, but over the course of this month, I've been keeping track of how much I've spent on food. I just spent the first money I've spent this month 140 lek for some oranges, apples, and some potatoes. 1,500 and 200 fruits and veggies. 500 lek. Since it's uh, super sunny today, I spurs a little bit. I spent 1,000 lek on groceries today. You get the point. But in total, it came out to about 12,700 lek for the month. Filling up the van right now. Um, this is not like typical. <laughs> this is gonna be expensive. Um, but this is not like a normal monthly thing. Well, it is a monthly thing for me, but yeah, I think it's 158 lek per liter and we'll, uh, we'll see what the final result is. The total is uh, 11,200 lek, so. One of the questions I get most frequently is about internet prices and reliability. And the internet that I've had when I got here, while it goes out sometimes, it's honestly better than any internet that I've had in the United States. And for my internet package, which I don't remember exactly what it is, I paid 9,000 lek for the year. For the entire year, I paid 9,000 lek. 
So there you have it. That's how much money I spent this particular month. As a conclusion, I do need to re-emphasize yet again that this is in Pogradets, and Pogradets is by no means close to the most expensive city in this country. If you're in Toronto, things are gonna be potentially very, very different. But this is what I've spent in this month, which is 52,168 like. And at the time of recording this video, it is 422 euros and 31 cents. Or if you're looking in US dollars, $511.66. You also have to keep in mind that the average salary in this country is very, very low. Um, I've heard of a bunch of different numbers. The most consistent is about 250 euros a month. So while it may seem like it's cheap to live here, financial life for many Albanians can be difficult. I am lucky to, enough to have multiple streams of income, which allows me to do certain things like live in this massive house by myself and also have and be able to pay for my van. I hope this has been helpful for you. And um, if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing, I make a lot of videos about Albania, a lot of videos about my van. <laughs> and if you're someone interested, subscribe and I'll see you next time.